He was born miraculously without a father. Breathed life into the lifeless and healed the ailing. Destined to return in end times to vanquish the Antichrist. The incredible life of Jesus Christ. This story, drawn from the Quran and Bible, aims to introduce Jesus and Mary through Islamic and Christian narratives. Mary and Jesus were very alone after they killed Zechariah. So they had to migrate to Egypt when Jesus was only a month old baby. God Almighty had inspired Mary to leave the land of her people immediately, for her people, the sons of Israel, were going to kill her and her son. So Joseph, the son of her uncle, put Mary and Jesus on a donkey and hurriedly took them to Egypt. Mother and son settled on a hill in Egypt. They stayed in Egypt for 12 years, during which time extraordinary events occurred in the village they went to. Their steward was a respectful and wealthy person, known for his generosity towards the poor and strangers. He recognized the blessed nature of Mary and her orphan child and offered them protection and shelter. They lived in the steward's house for a long time, sharing space with the poor. One day, a property belonging to the farm owner had been stolen from its hiding place. But he did not blame the poor and destitute who were sheltering in his house. Mary, on the other hand, was saddened by the misfortune of the landlord. When Jesus saw that his mother was sad about the misfortune of her landlord, he said to her, Oh, my mother, do you want me to show him your stolen property? Mary said, Yes, I do, O oh my son. Jesus said, Then tell him that you will take the poor to your house for me. Gather them. Mary told the landlord to gather the poor in his house. When the poor were gathered, Jesus found two people guilty. One of them was blind, and the other was lame. Jesus put the cripple on the blind man's shoulder. Stand up with him. The blind man said, I am incapable of doing that. Jesus said, Well, how were you able to stand up with him last night? When they heard this word of Jesus, they made the blind man stand up. The cripple riding on the back of the blind man's neck reached from there to the window of the warehouse. Jesus said, This is how they stole your property last night the blind one with his strength and the crippled one with his eyes, helping each other. The cripple and the blind man confirmed the word of Jesus. They gave it back to the owner of the farm. He put it in the storehouse and said, Oh, Mary, you take half of this property. Mary said, I was not created for this. The farm landlord said, then take it and give it to your son. Mary said, He is greater than me in status and glory. At that time, Jesus was 12 years old. When the people of Egypt began to be afraid of what Jesus had done and what God had given him, God Almighty revealed and inspired Mary, the mother of Jesus, to take her son to Damascus. She did as she was commanded. They settled in the region of Nazareth in Damascus. He did not leave there until he was 30 years old. When he was 30 years old, he was given the Bible by God. God Almighty commanded him to begin to call the people to faith and worship of God, to heal the sick, the lame, the crippled, the blind from birth, the insane, and those afflicted with all kinds of diseases. And Jesus did what he was commanded to do, and the people loved him and became accustomed to him. And those who followed him multiplied, and he became famous. Sometimes thousands of the sick and crippled would come and gather at Jesus' door. Those who were able to walk to Jesus would come on foot, and those who were not able to walk to him, he would go on foot and heal them, 
praying and healing them only on condition of faith in God. Jesus said, Do you know that there is anyone other than me who is the Word and Spirit of God, who heals the lame and the seriously ill and raises the dead? And they would say, No. As explained in the Gospel of John, one who was there had been an invalid for 38 years. When Jesus saw him lying there and learned that he had been in this condition for a long time, he asked him, Do you want to get well? Sir, the invalid replied, I have no one to help me into the pool when the water is stirred. While I am trying to get in, someone else goes down ahead of me. Then Jesus said to him, Get up, pick up your mat and walk. At once the man was cured. He picked up his mat and walked. The day on which this took place was a Sabbath, and so the Jewish leader said to the man who had been healed, It is the Sabbath. The law forbids you to carry your mat. But he replied, The man who made me well said to me, Pick up your mat and walk. So they asked him, Who is this fellow who told you to pick it up and walk? The man who was healed had no idea who it was, for Jesus had slipped away into the crowd that was there. Later, Jesus found him at the temple and said to him, See, you are well again. Stop sinning or something worse may happen to you. The man went away and told the Jewish leaders that it was Jesus who had made him well. So, because Jesus was doing these things on the Sabbath, the Jewish leaders began to persecute him. In his defense, Jesus said to them, My father is always at his work to this very day, and I too am working. John 5, 5, 17 Jesus went through all the towns and villages, teaching in their synagogues, proclaiming the good news of the kingdom, and healing every disease and sickness. The Bible Matthew 9, 35. Your faith has healed you. The Bible. Matthew 9, 22. And do not fear those who kill the body but cannot kill the soul, but rather fear him who is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. The Bible. Matthew 10, 28. When he wanted to heal the sick and raise the dead, he would pray like this. O oh God, you are the God in the sky. You are the God in the earth. In both, there is no God except you. In both, there is no one mightier than you. You are the sovereign in the sky. You are the sovereign in the earth. In both, there is no ruler other than you. Your power on the earth is like your power in the sky. I make my request to you by your honorable names. There is no doubt that you are almighty. You are all-powerful. Jesus used to raise the dead by the name of God. At the time of Jesus, the medicine was very important, but doctors were incapable of opening the eyes of the blind and curing many diseases. Jesus, on the other hand, gives sight to the blind from birth, whom the doctors were unable to make see, heals their diseases, which they could not cure, and even even raising the dead. It is narrated that one of the kings invited the people to a meal, and Jesus sat around the table. He was eating from the side of the dish that was in front of him, and the food on the plate was never lacking. When the king saw this, he was amazed, and his heart was softened by this miracle, and he felt a special love. Who are you? the king asked. Jesus said, I am Jesus, the son of Mary. The king said, I have left the kingdom and followed you. He left the kingdom and followed Jesus with some of his friends, and these were the apostles of Jesus. It has also been said that the apostles were painters or hunters or some other profession, and Jesus sensed disbelief from them the Israelites. Who are those who will help me on my way to God? The apostles said, We are the helpers of God. 
We believe in God and you, O Jesus, bear witness that we are surely the believers. The apostles with Jesus were twelve in number. When the apostles were hungry, Jesus would say, O Spirit of God, we are hungry. And Jesus would strike his hand on the ground in the plain or on the mountain. Two loaves of bread would come out for each person, and they would eat them. When they were thirsty, they would say, O Ruhullah, we are thirsty. Jesus would strike his hand on the ground in the plain or on the mountain, and water would come out of the ground and they would drink it. The apostles would say, O oh, you whom God has breathed into your soul, who is more virtuous than us, you give us bread when we ask for it. When we ask, you give us water to drink, and we have believed in you and followed you. Jesus, he who works with his hands and eats from the earnings of his hands is more virtuous than you. Then the apostles began to earn a living by washing clothes for a wage. Thank you.